In this video, we're going to be setting up the BLE Shark Nano. This prototype was sent to me with no instructions, so you get to see how simple it actually is to set up. I had no direction and I was able to figure it out. First things first, I turned on the device, use the little welcome screen, and then it will tell you to hit any button to get started. Once you do that, it's going to tell you to connect to it over Wi-Fi. So go ahead and open up any device that you have. In this video, I use my iPad. Click on BLE Shark Setup. And once it connects, you should be greeted with this. Go ahead and put the password and security key that comes with your device. It should look just like this. Just a quick side note, there's a dark mode. Top right, there's a button. Just click it. So happy to see a dark mode. Go ahead and hit login once you're done putting in your password. Now you're going to connect your BLE Shark Nano to the internet so it can update itself. So go ahead and hit the next step and you should see an option to connect to a 2.4 gigahertz network. Click on the network you want to use. And then once it says connection successful, hit continue. And I really like this little feature. When you do this, you get a little confetti. It's simple, but I just like the touch. It's really nice. And after you do that, you're going to restart the device. It's going to reboot itself. Then it's going to install the firmware. Once it's done, it should reboot once again. Now, the beautiful thing about this device, which you see here, is that if it's out of date, it will let you know, and it will automatically grab the update for you. So go ahead and hit yes. The button is enter. And now it's going to install its update. You have to plug this into the computer. Don't do anything. It just automatically does it. And once you're done, it's ready to go. And it's that simple. I can't get over a device under $40 can be this simple to set up. It's smooth, and again, this is the prototype version. I can only imagine the iron out uh, firmware is it going to be like with this device. Now, I'm going to be making videos testing this device. I'm going to be putting the more hardcore YouTube unfriendly videos on a different platform, but I'm going to be making a watered-down version for you guys on here. And remember, safety is an illusion. I'll see you in the next video.